week's everyday hero is an Army veteran from Menominee Falls. And he is poised to do something no Purple Heart recipient has ever done, climb the highest mountain on all seven continents. He started climbing after being injured in Afghanistan, and now his journey is inspiring others. One thing Benjamin Breckheimer always has with him is a big smile, even when he didn't have much to smile about. There was definitely some dark days, a lot of dark days. Breckheimer enlisted in the Army in 2002 and went to Afghanistan in 2009. And unfortunately, three months into my tour, uh, the very first uh, improvised explosive device I hit uh, ended up taking me out of the fight and ending my military career. He was airlifted out with a perforated eardrum, fractured vertebrae, and severe leg injuries. And my lower right leg was actually hanging by an inch thick uh, strip of skin. But there he is in the hospital with a smile and a thumbs up. Stepdad Tim Lyons remembers talking to the doctor. Yeah, he looks me in the eye and he goes, I can always take the leg off. I can never put it back on. And it was like so poignant to me because it was like, I'm in your corner. Let's just go with it. Breckheimer's recovery, it took four years, but it also took him to new heights. I felt like I bit off more than I could chew in the beginning. <laughs> he started climbing the world's tallest mountains. He summited six of the seven summits, the tallest peaks on every continent. Mount Elbrus, Kilimanjaro, and there he is in Antarctica with his Menominee Falls High School flag. Now, has climbing helped with some of that, like the physical and the mental, emotional recovery? It has 100% helped. Look at you. Yeah. An earthquake? Yeah. He survived an earthquake and avalanche. Oh, man, I hope people are okay up there. While climbing Mount Everest in 2015, he reached Everest's summit two years later. I get a little emotional about this. <laughs> it's so, to have raised a kid to, to to reach these heights is, um, it's amazing. Breckheimer is now inspiring a new generation, telling his story to kids all over. But just to hear how excited they get uh, really drives me even further. Breckheimer is in Alaska right now and plans to get to the top of Mount Denali by June 21st. If he does, he will be the first Purple Heart recipient to climb all seven summits. And if you would like to nominate an everyday hero, just send me a message. Wow. I don't know what much else to say about a guy like that or a person like that, Natalie. I think wow does sum it up. Oh and, you gosh. know, some of these mountains he's had to go back to more than once. So this has been a years long process and really commitment and perseverance, all of the things. It was very amazing. I don't know if he likes a cold beer every once in a while, but I would be honored to buy the man a cold beer. That was incredible. We'll pass that along. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that.